What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Kansas City Royals versus San Diego Padres. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, August 27th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. And also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer, the link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click that join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. Those passes, great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. And uh, it's a great way to get picks from Mitch and myself every single day. With football season finally upon us, that premium pass, those VIP passes, definitely going to be something that you want to have in your back pocket for sure. But let's get to this one. Between the Kansas City Royals and San Diego Padres, no starter confirmed as of yet for either side. But if you guys watch my videos here at Pick Dogs, you know you guys like know what I like to do when I don't see starting pitchers announced on either side. I like to take a look at starting pitching rotations, see if we can get an idea as to who could be the most likely to get a start for a team when they don't have anybody announced. See if there's a, maybe a, a pattern in the rotation. And, uh, you know, for the San Diego Padres, I have seen you Darvish in a couple of places. I believe Darvish was uh, on paternity leave, so he, he had a bit of a, a rest from the rotation. But uh, with an extra little bit of rest, should be able to go here. So we'll have to see if it ends up being Darvish. On the other side for Kansas City, the last couple times we've seen Chris Bubich, it's been followed by Zach Greinke. And, you know, Greinke would make sense here. He would be on normal rest. And the other thing about Greinke is that he hasn't pitched all that bad, um, especially, you know, on the road was where he was having his bigger struggles this season and still has a 6.33 ERA and an 0-6 record on the road. But at home this season, 4-2 and with a 1.98 ERA. So, again, all this is tentative on this actually being Greinke getting the start on Saturday. Hopefully we'll be able to confirm that for you on Saturday's morning show. If not, keep checking the... Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the probable pitcher reports, you know, use the Major League Baseball website. You know, we'll try to have it updated for you on our write-ups at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. But um, the other thing is for the San Diego Padres is that regardless of who's pitching for the Kansas City Royals, because we're in the here and now, you look at the last week, week and a half for the San Diego Padres, and if I had told you that at the at the trade deadline, the you know, the Padres made all these moves. They went out and got Juan Soto. They went out and got Brandon Drury. You know, they still have Manny Machado, obviously no Fernando Tatis Jr., but still. And I told you that the Padres had scored three runs or less in eight of their last nine games at this point. You probably would have thought I was crazy, but that's where we are. We haven't seen how Friday's matchup shaken out because, spoiler alert, we are filming this video before Friday's matchup finishes. But the bottom line is that the San Diego Padres have pretty much been a disappointment offensively since the trade deadline, even a little bit before the trade deadline as well. And, you know... I just we don't have much else to go on other than the fact that the Padres are just not playing up to the talent level that's within that lineup. They tend to play down to a lot of lesser teams, and it wouldn't surprise me if they did more of the same here. I think the under definitely in play, but I'm going to go with the San Diego Padres team total under. I expect it to be around three and a half, maybe four and a half, and uh, I still like the under in this one, especially if we're getting Zach Greinke on the hill. So give me the San Diego Padres team total under, and that's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets from myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use this promo code here, AUG15, AUG15, all one word, all lowercase for 15% off your purchase at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, 100% free, the best in the business, and you can use those to uh, help make your best bets for the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.